Next gen's changing. Let's talk about it. Almost 15 years ago, myself, Jimmy DeLay, and Brandon Davis started this wild dream that we could have never imagined would turn into what it is today. At the time, it was Logan County Paranormal Research Society, and then it was Western Kentucky Paranormal, and then it was Next Gen Paranormal Research. And we've had the best time. We've been able to meet some incredible people over the years and visit some amazing, historic, well-known locations, places that we never thought, one, would exist, two, that we would ever get a chance to visit if given the opportunity. However, it wasn't long after we had started Next Gen and watched it become fully realized that things began to change. New priorities had taken hold and we had to listen to them. Some of us were starting families. Some of us were starting over. Some of us were building new careers and new businesses that we had to focus on. So we stepped away. And at the time it was the right call. We still stayed in touch, not, not as good as we should have, but we still remained friends. A few years later, we came back together, Adam, Brandon, Jimmy and myself, and we talked and we said, let's, let's give it another go. So we did. We felt we were in a better spot, uh, each of us individually. We thought finances were better. We thought we had a better grasp of our schedules and routines that we needed to focus on. And we had a great time, but if we were gonna do it, we were gonna do it differently. And that's when we began making all the social media and video content for you guys. Things on TikTok, YouTube, everything on Facebook, all of that was done for you. Because the paranormal field for so long lacked high quality professional content that wasn't about running around screaming, shouting about demons. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you ever hear a paranormal investigator yell demon, there's a 95% chance they're making it up. We weren't gonna do that. We care about you guys way too much to let you believe that. Here we are a few years later though. We have brought on a new member, Owen. You know, you love him. He's a great kid. He's learned a lot over the years. He's been an investigator for almost two years. He learned under a great team before us. And then when he joined us, we've done our best to teach him and continue to carry on the teachings that he had prior. And he's doing a fantastic job. But like all things, again, we've had life happen. A few months back, I received a text message late at night from Adam, one of my favorite people that I've ever met, one of my best friends, someone that I know if I ever need anything, I can call him and he'll be there. He was worried about the positions he was in and he was worried it might be time for him to leave the field behind. I asked him to wait, to think on it, to just go on a couple more investigations, things that we already had planned. So we waited. We did our big Tennessee truck. We went to Old South Pittsburgh and Harriman Hospital and had a great time. But he also realized at that point that it was the right thing to do. It was time to step away. From the time that Adam had brought his concerns to me, it had planted a thought into my brain as well and a thought into Jimmy's. Is it time for us to step away and leave the field behind? We thought about it privately. We weren't gonna to talk to anybody about it except for those that we trusted and were going through the same scenarios that we were. And the more we thought about it and the more conversations that we had with each other, a sobering thought was realized. It's just not as fun anymore. Jimmy wants to focus on his family. 100% agree. He should. He's got a beautiful family. They deserve his attention when he's not at work. 
Adam, like I said, wants to focus on his career and his finances. Do it, man. Myself, for so long, I've put so much into this team and this field, and then my own personal business that I neglected one, my, my social life, my finances, everything, just to try and make this work. As a professional photographer, my weekends are few and far between. They don't come often, to be free you now. So when I do have them, I focus on the paranormal. And I couldn't hold a relationship, I couldn't hold strong friendships other than the people on the team that I was with. And it, it's taken a hit in 15 years. The field will continue long past me. It'll continue long past the people who are currently being pioneers in the paranormal field as technical experts uh, with brand new strong theories and techniques. All of this will continue to go on. It was here before us and it'll be here after us. We have handed over the reins to Owen Gilstrap. Whether he takes it or not, it's up to him. We trust him. We know he's gonna do a great job if he chooses to carry on the torch and to continue to keep Next Gen alive and thriving and he'll do well. He's had good teaching. We're here to advise him every step of the way and he's ready. And so now it's time to say goodbye. I've had a great run. The paranormal has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I've met my best friends through the paranormal and they'll continue to be my best friends even after we're no longer running around in pitch black buildings in the middle of the night. Buildings that don't have heat or AC. Uh, buildings that we have to drive four, five, six hours to get to. We've had a good time, but it's time to say goodbye. But before we do, let's look back on some of our favorite times in the paranormal field. Some of our favorite times together as part of Next Gen Paranormal Research.